someone unplugged it. Well, yeah, I was using it. Oh. We should plug it back Well, in. there you go. You just came back. We didn't have sound. Uh, perfect. Since you weren't here to check we didn't, the... Uh, we didn't do anything so, yet, so, did you guys already talk about this beer? No, no, no one heard anything. anything. We didn't so talk about no anything. Sound. Not at all? Like, nobody heard anything? <laughs> no one heard anything. Wow, we're off to a great start. You know it's Saturday, right? It is Saturday. Well, Saturday, that's a typical Saturday for us, guys. We're enjoying our day yeah. as we should. I think Saturday's the weekend. Yeah. We're having a good time. Um, we were busy as all hell today. Yeah. I wouldn't know I was not here. I, 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 I you went and visited your brother? I did. I, I, yeah. I had to go see him and the kids. And yeah. so we, were, we were very uh, safe, social distancing, hello, how are you, that kind of thing. Good, good. Um, came here. We knew we had to do a show. We started every show with a beer. Went with Trogue's Mad <laughs> Elf. A nice Christmas beer. And so, yeah. So the story behind this is that in November, like, um, the craft rep was like, Hey, I got Trogue's Mad Trogue. Elf, and I'm like, oh, that's is perfect that a thing? for Christmas. Yeah, yeah. well, exactly. I'm like, it sounds perfect for Christmas, and like, I've never had it. Is it any good? And he's like, yeah, it sells like crazy. You should get it. So I bought a case of it. Uh, <laughs> didn't sell like crazy. <laughs> yep. And it's still been sitting here, and I'm like, we we're looking for a beer to try today for the show that we haven't had yet. Some Saw that, and I'm like, all right, A, we're opening this one up. We're going to try it, <laughs> taste it, explain what it tastes like, and then B... Uh, we got to put on sales. So. Yeah, just we got to get, get them out of here. Yeah. So that's the move right now. How, did you guys take a sip? I did. I did take a sip. Yeah, All right, yeah. I have not. So Go cheers, ahead. everybody. Cheers. Watching from home. Hope you have your drink. Yeah, so, you know, <laughs> that is a, definitely a winter beer. That's yeah. A sp spicy Belgian. I guess that's the. the yeah, that's the way, way to, you would I call describe it. it like that. I like it. Yeah, I think you, you gotta like the style, right? I mean, that's uh, it's you, malty, it's sweet. Yeah, if it's you give thick, somebody beer little and syrupy. you say, "Here, try this," they're gonna be like, "What?" The, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, no, it's it's you, syrupy. It's got some stuff going on. Yeah, definitely syrupy. That's the, probably the right yeah. word for it. If you like malty, it is what it is. I it's like good. It. Yeah. All right. I'm not, I mean, I'm not sure I drink a case of it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so if you guys are uh, interested in cheaper beer, spicy Belgian style with high there ABV. We're going to have these on sale starting tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. And so look for that. It'll be at a very, very uh, fire sale. <laughs> so. Fire sale. Although fire I, sale. Could, I could keep this in the bottle till next Christmas and nothing would happen. Yeah, no, it's, that. yeah, it ages fine. It's it not, ages great. Yeah, it's not a fresh hoppy yeah, beer. It tastes it's got, yeah. So. I mean, it tastes like I think it should. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I've had it before, but um, I've definitely had Trogues when I lived in Philly. Trogues were, was pretty popular. It's got an Oktoberfest. You know, they, they actually winter they thing. remind me a little bit of the Altruist as far as they like branding. Yeah. I remember correctly. The hop cone. Hop stuff. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Great. So Mad Elf. Food. We have that. Oh, so you're an angry elf. <laughs> <laughs> you're an Call angry elf. Call me an elf one more time. <laughs> Call me an angry elf one more time. <laughs> so food tonight? Veggie burger. Or veggie burger. Mm. So it is a... Um, three grain. Three grain blend. Uh, it has... Beans, roasted red pepper, uh, bur uh, bulgur, and I forget what else. Sounds about right. Yeah. 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 But it's vegan. Yep. Although the way we, we make it, on we it, put cheese on it. But so you can it be makes vegan. it vegetarian. Yep, but sure. It can be vegan. Yep. The, the actual uh, patty itself is, is vegan. Yeah. And um, uh, it's absolutely delicious. We've, we sell a lot of veggie burgers. I yes. Mean, no surprise, you know, if you like a veggie burger, that's a good veggie burger. You got it. Um, and we sell a ton of those, actually. Yeah, we do. I like it. I think it's, uh, I eat it all the time. I had one the other day. Well, Taste, well, tell us. I, I still, you know, I remember one of yeah. the uh, beginning days of the, uh, I shouldn't say the beginning of days, but we, we were trying to get a good veggie patty that would stick together and hold and not fall apart. Yeah. And so we... Got to hard. sit down in the in the PDR at the time and try a lot, a lot of different veggie burgers, yeah. and we taste tested multiple multiple brands, styles, you know, bean burgers, Impossible burgers, yep. all of these things, yep. and okay. um, we all five. That was five our favorite. Favorite yeah. this. Uh, yeah, yeah. the Impossible burger thing was weird, right? It kind of like blew up, yeah, and then kind of went away. Yeah. Um, okay. It's a it's a bizarre thing. If you haven't had one yet, uh, they. It's a plant-based beef burger. Mm. Like they're trying to approximate beef. That one's great. Yeah, our, be our burger's great. Yep. Uh, so it's weird. That, that, it's a, it's the, the impossible burger. burger yeah. 
I hate those things. Well, if you're really <laughs> if you're really a vegetarian or a vegan, it tastes like meat. So it's very right, strange, right. right? So yeah, it's definitely not my uh, not my thing. Nope. And it kind of died down quick. Yeah. It was a huge thing for like a hot minute. Oh, couldn't yeah. couldn't well, buy them, Burger right? King. I, right, I Burger King. Burger King hurt the brand. I'm sure they did. That the fact that like, they bought them all, yeah. you couldn't buy it in a but restaurant. That, now it's a fast food item. Right. Mm-hmm. They drove so, the like, price I down. I wonder. Too. Yeah. Did it drive the price down? Did it make it feel like it's less quality when it, you know, if had a let's just say like a five star restaurant. Right. You can't sell that, that on. Yeah. No way. Oh, they, I can get that at Burger King. Yeah. Yeah. So it kind of killed the brand yeah. a little bit, but you know probably. you live and die by that. Like I think they they probably enjoyed all the profits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Probably enjoy the money that they're making. So who knows? But. Yeah, I mean, they sold out of all their products. Right. So. You couldn't buy it for a long time. Yeah, exactly. So, Veggie Burger, we have had that on the menu forever. Mm-hmm. And we'll, yeah. we'll continue to have it. Yeah. So, for our vegan friends there, ask for it without cheese, and we can get that done for you. So. Yeah. And that had sweet potato fries on there. Which yeah, I love. do a sweet potato fries, regular fries, salad, whatever. Mm-hmm. Our sweet potato fries are, like, legit. We sell a lot of sweet potato fries. We do. Yeah. And they're, they, it, you know, it's like, it almost feels like it's a whole, like, don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like a whole thing. But, but like it's not like it doesn't taste fake. It's like literally like I'm eating like they're literally know, just in a fry form. They're so. cut up yeah. sweet potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad they taste like sweet potatoes. Because they should. Uh, that's good. It's really good. So, uh, so today we had our second day of delivery as well. Yes. Right. In house delivery. We uh, in house delivery. Yeah. We talked so, about it yesterday a little bit, but we've decided to. Cut Turn ties off. with our uh, Grubhub and DoorDash uh, family. Yep. Uh, Eighty-six DoorDash and Because of yep. the uh, basically too expensive. It the, too expensive, and it wasn't. And we did also didn't feel great about managing the process. We don't think that everybody was getting the same sort of. Yeah, s- that's right. The same sort of service and hospitality that they would get. From the us, second so. it's out of here, Lord knows what, what right. happened to the food, wh- where it's going. They sh- it, they show up late. Happening? Yep. Like, you know, you, your, your food, you don't, we don't want food sitting around. It, exactly. it sits and waits for them. And yeah, then who knows somebody, what doing. It's our employee. Right. They, they'll come. I like the, the idea. Of we're it's out the door. The moment it's done, it goes out the yep. door. Getting more people in town back to work, too. I'm yeah, absolutely. I'm happy about that. Yep. So. I agree. So, so we will have delivery going forward. For dinner. For, for dinner. Four to eight. Four to eight for now. If we get busier, we'll maybe open it for lunch. But right now, four to eight, dinner time, yep. we deliver. Yes. Yeah. Um, just to look at some of the comments. So Ed. Says, what up, boys? Ed, how you doing? Yeah. Hope you're doing okay at home. Jody said, that looks yummy, the veggie burger. It is yummy. When you come up from Ohio, please try some. <laughs> Joe said, turn up the volume. It's too low. Is it still too low? Oh, that's from before. That's just because he's, he's old. It's just because well, he's old. Well, I was just, you know, I don't want to say that to Joe. He's going to get mad at me. <laughs> I'll, I'll say it. I'll <laughs> say it. Um, Elise says, uh, take a shot of tequila. Uh, are we doing tequila today? I don't even know we're doing it today. That was yesterday. Oh, and uh, Ed says, my kid says we should do fried pickles. Oh, fried I pickles love Pickles are we, always good. So we did fried pickles for like a minute, like uh, months and months and months ago. Yeah. We had them. And, and they're great. I, yeah. It's one of those foods love that I wonder pickles. how it travels. Uh, Takeout's take out. tough. Yeah. So maybe once we well, get outdoor dining going. To, to that point, the fish and chips. Yeah. We got so many people asking about fish and chips, but it just doesn't hold up. When you when you have a really hot piece of fish and then it's closed in a container, it steams it up gets mushy. and it kind of kills that fry yeah. effect. Yeah. I think we're gonna have when we get the outdoors going. Yeah. In, in phase two, which we'll start talking about, I think next week. You guys yeah, hopefully, get a yeah. Sense of what we're doing, but um. We'll, I think we're going to add a whole bunch of new fried items yeah. that'll be quicker and easier to pick up that you can eat right here outside. Agreed. And, and, and I love fried, fried pickles are great. Fried pickles, fried shrimp. Yeah. Know, seafood. Shrimp yeah, we'll do like seafood scallops. platters, scallops, clam bellies, all that nice. kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Bring the fish and chips back. Yeah. Hell yeah. I would love to do all of that. That would be a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, it just doesn't sit in a container. Well. I wanted to say, too, just I know we talked about it at the beginning, but I don't know if the mics were off. We just kicked that foam. The foam's keg. already kicked. So we have a second keg, but we're waiting on growlers. So we're yeah, gonna, we sold all our glass. We will tap the second keg of foam. It's going to be called, um, I forget the name of it exactly, but it's just another double IPA. And uh, we'll tap that on Wednesday as soon as we can get some growlers in here. Great. We, I mean, I think we sold way more than <laughs> I think we sold like six today. Yeah. I wasn't yeah. expecting that. No, no. It's, I mean, foam's Foam is great. Foam is foam, man. That's yeah. like having a uh, trillium or treehouse on yep. it. Yep. So yeah. Might as well. We were very cool. excited. Um, the, the growlers were a good decision, I think. Yeah. I think 
people are appreciating the fact that they can. Yep. It's, yeah. it's tough. Well, I think, it's I think it depends on, too, like the, the place. Yeah. You know, not to toot our own, but we have great beer here. And uh, I think people realize that. And we take good care of our beer. Yeah. Uh, our draft system is from Modern Draft. We clean yes. them all the time. Always clean. So, yeah. you know. Really short run so you're right not there. you're not swinging by other restaurants and picking up like a growler of like Bud Heavy, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not it's not what you're doing. Um, yeah, no, it matters. The beer matters for sure. <laughs> and the, well, the beer matters, but also the quality of the beer. Like yeah, that's because like, you can still sell craft beer, but like you know, it's got to be fresh. And, yeah, yeah, it's got to be taken care of, and yeah. we care about all those things. So well, that's a lot of the reason why you're able to get some of those beers because those guys know you yes. do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, a lot of these places ask, like, how yeah. long are your lines? Like, where are you going to, how often do you clean them? Yeah, yeah they want to sell When I give you this keg, when are you going to tap it? You know, right. How yeah. long is it going to sit in your system for? Like, and we have crazy, uh, or customers that are craft beer crazy, as I say. Yeah. yeah. But they love it just as much as we do. So um, I think that's a great culture to have here. I love that about uh, Reunion. I do. So speaking of uh, Reunion and uh, this show. Craft. And everything. Drinks. I don't even know. It's the worst segue ever. You make uh, a drink. Let's make a drink. Well, let's do a drink and let's let's share a drink. Yeah. Yeah. So today we're gonna bring on a guest. A guest. First guest. Hey. Yeah. We have our friend, a good buddy. friend, buddy. Okay. buddy Bartlett. Everyone, let's give a round of applause. Hey. 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 So, buddy, um, ha uh, chef at Depot Street Tavern, Maddie's Tap House. Then he came. Uh, Started working for us for a little bit. Came here for Did a hot minute, yeah. And yep. then yep. Uh, now he's over at Bushel and Peck. Yeah, working with Mike. With, uh, working with Mike and Mike. Um, and Mike. But he's been a friend for forever. So Long time, yep. We bumped into him yesterday and he was like, I want to come on the show. Yep. We're like, you know what? Absolutely. Let's do it. Come on. Came in, came in for dinner and I mean, like, you guys were talking about the lobster roll. Yeah. You know, however many, whatever time frame that was and this crazy period. And, uh, you know, you guys were right. It was killer it was large it was great it was fresh it was delicious nice. awesome you know we all loved everything else and and it sounds like you guys we were talking yesterday you guys are like killing it yeah over there, we're busy. you know bush was still busy and killing it and ed i'm not trying to take business <laughs> but we share business we have great fried pickles at Bushel. There you go. Come on over. Awesome. There you go. You know, go, for you go. go for it. That's good to know because I actually, um, I don't know if the Inn's still doing those, but the Grafton Inn has great fried pickles too. Yeah. We do a sweet, uh, not, it's not sweet, it's a little spicy sriracha aioli with it. Oh, nice. It's delicious. It's one of my favorite things. I, should, I can walk there, so I should yeah. go there. That's yeah, good. I mean, whenever we get lunch there, I always want the pickle. I make a drink while I we, uh, You make yeah. a drink. Yeah. So what is the drink today? I mean, normally we'll try to do something fun like bar roulette to figure out a drink, but... Yesterday was happy hour, and normally happy hour means we get to pick a drink. We didn't do that yesterday. We didn't. So let's do that today. Well, what's your favorite liquor? Yeah, what do you like to drink, buddy? You a vodka guy? You a whiskey guy? Uh, you a gin guy? What do you like? Jameson. Jameson. Pff, hell yeah. Jameson and ginger. Jameson, Jameson ginger. on the rocks. Love it. Okay. Jameson and ginger. Why don't we do some? Couldn't be easier. Do we Great drink. Any? Yeah. Sargon's been we do. Sargon's been drinking it, but there's <laughs> some other. That's the perfect thing. It's simple. It's easy. Yep. Quick. Yeah. When we were in Ireland last summer... Um, Jameson and Ginger was like the first drink the kids had, mm -hmm. right? So our children are teens now, they're teens, but yeah. they were blown away that they could just go into a pub and drink. Yeah. You know, 16, 15 year olds, yeah. Nate, Nate was 15, 14 even. No, 15. 15, he was 15. 11, 10 years old. 10 years old, nine years old. <laughs> but Nate uh, looks old too. Nate, yeah, yeah Nate looks yeah. old. But, it, uh, but they were blown away. We, we could go into a pub and they just surf. They don't care. Yep. Like, yeah, whatever, mom and dad are here, have a drink. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, we took him out a couple nights as well. Yeah, that was great. That was really fun. So for me, Jameson um, is probably, in my opinion, one of the easiest drinking whiskeys. Sure, I, it is. It's super, uh, I, I feel like it's almost, it has a sweet thing going on. It does. Yep. Yep. Um, it, it's not harsh. It's not smoky. Exactly. Right? I'd say show the bottle, but if you haven't seen this Yeah, if you haven't seen this before. <laughs> like, <laughs> and look, oh wow, Jameson. So this, um, like, if you've never had Irish whiskey, yeah, that's so the it's one you want to go for. Triple distilled, 40%. It's uh, I think it's, we may have talked about this on the show before. But I'm and I sure, yeah. Got to go to the we did. We went to Jameson last that's summer. That's awesome. It, it was, was great. It was great. I feel like I got to because I watched it with you on whiskey. Yeah, we'll that's go, right. We watched. Bro yeah, so the the whiskey tribe. Whiskey tribe. Yeah. So if um, if you want to learn about whiskey, go to YouTube, look for the whiskey tribe, and uh, best hands down best uh, channel talking about whiskey there is. They review whiskey every night. And they know what they're doing. Ken uh, says uh, that uh, Bushel and Peck has great fishing chips. Eleven fifty. Is that? 
That's, seven fifty. That is all correct. So we got fried pickles um, and, and fishing chips covered at uh, at Bush. Yeah, and I Perfect. I have to say over this last Lent season. The fish and chips have just been taking off. Yeah. We've been selling a crazy amount and everyone loves it. And yeah. We're just, you know, we're happy to still be open and still serve the people of Grafton and the surrounding towns. And, awesome. You know, and Dave Meridian, you guys had his thing. His, uh, that's right. His so gift today card was thing the gift today. card giveaway. And you guys were last week. That's a, uh, that's a great segue because we decided uh, we were going to give one away on the show today. Perfect. Yeah. For, in, so we had two gift cards. We gave one away earlier today. To Brenda, Brenda and Victor Gilden, yep. they so came the Gildens. in and they had, they had actually gotten a, a foam. They got a foam, foam growler as well. Growlers. Nice, nice. And, uh, just happened to be the right number for them to come in. Yeah. Uh, so now we're going to give one away right here on the show. Yeah, yeah. perfect. I agree. For That's Dave so. Meridian, our state rep, he, uh, he's doing it for all the different restaurants. Great guy. Yep, he's Sweet buying guy. gift cards, giving them away to support local businesses. We so match that. We're giving one away as well. The uh, do we just want to go look up the fiftieth uh, customer, or do we want to come up? I know those are Dave's rules, but do we want to come up with our own rules? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, we, <laughs> we, we could ask someone. Else. We can give some. Give one to a viewer. Like, what? What do you guys? Um, ask a question. What should we ask? I don't know. What's their? Uh, All right. Uh, here's a question. And again, it will be the person who makes you know closest to the answer. <laughs> what was the opening date? For reunion tap and table. Mm. Oh, do they remember our first day in business? Yeah. yeah. What was our first day in business? And Gary Benequista is watching, so you you cannot, don't count. You are <laughs> ineligible. Gary. Sorry, Gary. Gary. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't remember. I was gonna say business. I don't know. I, I, so I have what, a pretty good idea. I yeah. think I, I think I could. Yeah. Ballpark it. Ballpark it. Ballpark it. I used the whole Greece thing. Like we took the family to Greece. We had no employees. Well, we had Gary and Ryan and Ryan and a couple others. And then I went away on vacation, came back, and you guys had 60 people you hired. <laughs> and I was like, hey, everyone. I remember coming off. The, I got off the plane. I had jet lag, came in here, and I was like, oh, there's a whole staff here that you trained. Yes. Yep, we had training, I remember. Yeah. We had the, the whole room full of everybody yep. in the training. So I met them all. Like, Sorry, cheers, guys. Yeah, I, cheers. I, guess for, I forgot Slash that we didn't it, do that right? yet. Slash cheers. Do we mask? Oh, I mean, Jameson is so easy. Yeah, it was a little sugary. It makes it, uh, extremely easy. Yeah, um, it's, it's just scotch. I mean, I'm sorry. It's just whiskey right down the middle. So, guys, not good, scotch. If you're commenting good, or you're good, watching good, at yeah. home, uh, pick a date that, or you think it was the first day that we were open in business. Yeah, whoever's like this is kind of an over under thing. Over under closest, thing. Whoever's closest. Matter. I mean, right now, no one's guessed. So, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, so we'll just we'll hang on to the gift card and just give it away. Yeah, we'll just give <laughs> it away to whenever. Until somebody gets it right. Or maybe we just do it until somebody gets it right. <laughs> so what have you been doing for quarantine? Working cool. your ass off, of yeah, course. Yeah, I've been working. Just six uh, days a week. Just about, yeah. yeah. Bushel, we've been uh, pretty crazy. Um, hanging out Home. with the kids as much as I can. We've you live doing, right down the street, yep. right? I mean, you're yep. right here, so. Um, trying to do some yard work, trying to, you know, projects around the house. I mean, isn't everyone right? Like, yeah, like how many time. people are in their house right now? And uh, God bless the wives and husbands that are trying to figure it out. But like, hey, honey, remember for the last four years, you said you're going to fix that thing, <laughs> that, oh, for sure. that gutter, that shutter, that <laughs> paint job. Oh, my God. People are right now. They're yep. doing everything. I went to Home Depot two Sundays ago. Home Depot is crazier than Walmart. Mad Mad house Mad house. Home Depot is crazy today. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Every day. Every day. I sit outside on our porch, and we have a, uh, the donation box across the street. They are full every single day. Everybody's cleaning out their house. They have a truck that picks up the damn thing every day. It's overflowing. Wow. Before this, no one was ever there ever. Now every day, it's literally like it looks like the Salvation Army like came to town. Yeah. Cause People are throwing away. There at every single day. You're like, I got to fix that. And I it's time. Fix that. And there's and no like, excuse no now. No more excuses. No excuse. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my God. The amount of yard work that's getting done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... How the kids hand? So you got some kids? So yeah. Uh, How they doing? Brennan, he's you know he's a senior. Right. He's supposed to be graduating soon, but but no. Nope. I just saw that they're talking about the week of July nineteenth. They're gonna. Yeah, I just. Oh, I good. Just got an email. Graduation. They're, yeah, nice. they're looking at. The, it looks like the nineteenth would be the earliest. Yeah. Okay. But they are looking to do it. You know, he's as much as. You know, we I bet we all were like that in high school. We're like, oh God, I just wish the senior year would end. But I mean, <laughs> but, looking back, to go back for a there day. There are a lot of things that you know the the high school class is missing this year. And oh yeah, it's you know it's tough. Prom, yeah, yeah. Know, senior skip day, everything, all of it. Bre Brendan and Nate, just they're, the they're in the play. Yep. You know, if they were going to do Greece this springtime, it was going to be awesome. Right. 
Brendan, Brendan had like the lead, right? Yeah, he was yeah. going to be Danny. I mean, yeah. you know, well, I just hopefully turned... still is. Yeah. Right, there's still people um, doing it. So. But I mean, they're you know, they're good. Just so if they do it, where, where is that going to happen? How do it like outside, I right? I don't know that much. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Do it like in the football field. Yeah. get some lights. Mm-hmm. That's where the graduation's going to happen. Right, yeah. awesome. Do an outdoor like we go yeah. when we're up in Portsmouth in the summertime. They do outside. Yeah. They do. We do outside theater. Yeah. Do it outside. It'd be great. So theater. In the we've round. only had two guesses. <laughs> Both of them have been wrong. How close? Who's closest, though? Well, so I, I would say Catherine was closer, but I'm not going <laughs> to. I'm just going to be like, you're an ineligible cat. Like, I don't even know why. You, <laughs> She's like looking at the bank. Yeah, I'm just going to. And uh, that's the day. There's no money left. <laughs> when did I start hating you? Yeah. When, when did you tell me I could eat ramen? Um. So. So. So and so, how many other and kids? Madison is ten. Madison's ten. So three. that's I think it's almost harder for that. Yeah, like, and then, Brent, you know, Brendan, he's a senior. Yeah, he's a schoolwork. He's is, a grown up. Is what it is. Yeah, um, but Madison has all the schoolwork, and you know, between me and Candy, we're trying to get it all done. And, yep. You know, what ninety percent of parents aren't teachers. Right. I mean, it gets 99%. A little, it, Yeah, it gets a little tough sometimes. And so. even teachers can't teach their own kids. Like that's just tough. Yeah. I love the I love the memes that are like um, I need to transfer this kid out of my class next year. <laughs> but we're like, get, who's doing know, class selection oh, yeah. for uh, next year? Because I I got to give this kid up. <laughs> we're getting through it. She's doing her stuff. She's, yeah. You know she's Facetiming with friends and. Yeah. I think that's the toughest part is just not being able to you know, go over to someone's house and play. Yeah, and they're missing that whole physical they're, interaction. They're, they're just so. Now. Encapsulated in the house. Yeah. And it's tough. On the flip side of that, this generation is designed to be able to survive doing this. I mean, that's that's you again? Battery, you think? Maybe, I got more batteries. But this generation can do it. I mean, like, they're literally built for... No, it's it's this side, yeah. Um, I mean, my kids, I I feel like two of my kids don't even, if you didn't tell them there was a virus, they wouldn't know. Like, they're just, (laughs) like, oh, I have to go in my room and be on the phone with my friends, or not even phone, computer with my friends. They're like, yeah, all right, see you in two months. They don't don't know shit. They're fine. Um, but it's still really hard, though. You know, they're missing the whole interaction. Yeah. Um, so uh, let me ask you guys, are you open on Memorial Day for Schoenbeck? No. Thank so, you for bringing that up. I was going to bring that up. Yeah, we, uh, we're closing as well. We just, you know, an extra day off, which is nice for everyone to get a break. Cause yeah. It's supposed to be nice. Whole, yeah, it's supposed to be nice and nice and the whole staff. We're just, you know, all busting butt and making sure everything's well, no one's running at full steam. Like, you guys have right. to be and, – and so the, it makes it harder for the people that are there. Yeah. Right? So we laid off 40-plus people, yeah. 50 people. And we've been riding our back of the house. They've been yeah, awesome. they've been I mean, awesome. those guys have been in here mm-hmm. every yep. single day running the show, basically. I mean, we've been here seven days a week. Yeah. Yep. You know? I mean, in the kitchen, it's me and three other guys. But then, you know, most of the work's out front making the sandwiches and this, that, and the other right. thing. Yep. So they're all out there, but then we're still in the back making sure – the deli case is full with all the prepared foods taken. Right, home. so you guys are doing some prepared foods, like yep. buy some beef, buy some chicken. Yep. You guys do, are doing marinated doing all, meats. Yeah, we're doing all the, you know, we got raw chicken, raw salmon, hamburgs. I love it. Uh, ground hamburg. Uh, it's and then, nice because, like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not loving the, like, going to the grocery no. store. No, no, no. Like, it's a so shit show. It's stressful yep. and, like, it's uh I, you know, you mentioned Home Depot earlier, yeah. Walmart. I haven't been that, any of those. Ground Zero right now yeah. is oh, supermarkets, 100%. Home Depot. Like, if you're going to get it somewhere, that's where so you're Like, doing. a little plate, like, the Bishop of Tech, Lavka, like, that, 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 and nobody else is here. Okay, cool. Man. Yeah. Fresh, fresh veggies. Yeah, we veggies. have toilet paper, paper towels. Awesome. Bread, bagels, you know. Yeah, we talked we, about it. We, we never quite got there, but I, I think for you guys, it's great because you guys are oh, yeah. in and out place anyways. Yeah. You're a takeout, we had, so. We had a guy. Oh, and we do deliveries as well. And you do deliveries. In Watertown, I was at a convenience store and so standing in there. And in walks a guy, no mask. Nobody says anything to him. No, he no, corrects good. himself seven seconds while he's in there. He's like, oh, shit, my mask. And he goes back walks, walks out to go get the mask, but I'm like, what, what, like, what? That's it. The damage has been done. Like, what are you doing? It's, it's where we're at right now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's unfortunately, I mean, it's going to be messy. Most people, I, I feel like people are getting the hang of it, but it's going to take yeah. time. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not going to happen overnight. We're not going to be like, all right, everyone's perfectly distanced and masked. I mean, again, we're, we're six feet apart. Yep. You know, see? But uh, 
and we're together every day, so I'm not too worried about it. But we, we were out. We played golf. We had masks when we went up to the get our cart. Or yep. not, we didn't get a cart. We went up no, and checked no, we in. we walked. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we're not walking next time. We are handicapped. That Trust me. Um, but it's going to be hard. And, yep. there, and there's a segment that doesn't want to wear a mask. Right. Like, I get it. Yeah. I, I don't believe in that, but I get Same. it. Same. Right. So we're going we're yeah. to be encountering that for a while. Yeah, no, exactly. It's gonna. It's uh, the new normal, as yeah. they, they keep bringing that up. But that, I mean, yeah. that encompasses a whole lot of. Yeah. yeah lot no, of by the way, you know. great. Yeah, great. Jack and Ginger. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, excellent drink. Um, so, and normally we always have like a fun uh, cute game, like we like to do on these shows. So okay. you've been watching, buddy. What uh, is the? What is your favorite of the ones that we do? I we have do, been watching. Yeah. We do. We do top five. We do Desert Island. Never have I ever. Would you rather? What ones do you like the best? And we'll, we'll, we'll take uh, that on right now. The islands are good, and the top fives. Yeah. So right now, since you're you're a food guy and. Um, Call me a little overweight. Uh, no, no, no. So you're a food guy. You're in the, you're, no. you're the, you're the, you're COVID nineteen. It's like freshman called, fifteen. You have been called chef. You are a chef. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I would chef. say you know chef food guy would be like the same, basically the same yeah, moniker, right? Same ballpark. Yeah, he's a <laughs> we talk food so, all the time whenever we get to it. Absolutely. So for you, uh, why don't we say uh, top five? We kind of talked about it yesterday for cookouts, but uh, top five uh, when you're on the beach. So you're on a boardwalk. And you're on vacation, top five vacation foods. What vacation what are you foods? Got? All right, so Cape Cod. We like to go to Cape Cod. Have family down there, we love, love it. Cape Cod. Lobster roll, perfect summertime meal. Awesome. Um, <laughs> Mike Ashley goes, is that a fat joke? <laughs> 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 so maybe, uh, Mike Ashley. <laughs> it My was man. not. Not a fat joke. Foodie joke, not a fat joke. Exactly. Um, so no, lobster roll, uh, awesome. I, I mean, New Englanders. Number one. Yep. Um, give me a good cheeseburger any day of the week. All day long. You know, I got a, I always say I've had a second little belly just for cheeseburgers, <laughs> you know, have a good meal, cheeseburger comes out, why not? <laughs> but, uh, I mean, summertime, if I'm cooking out, my smoker, I got. So you have been smoking. Yeah. So some, much fun. Yep. Ribs. And that goes, for Four me, foot. I love to smoke too. It goes beyond food. It's a hobby. Oh, yes. Yeah, it, there's food and then there's becoming a smoker. Mm -hmm. Not a barbecue guy, a smoker. Yep. Actual smoked woods, low, low and slow. Yes. Pork butts. Yeah. It's, it's so much fun. And it's an endless rabbit hole. You yep. can so, do it forever. So not, to, not to cut you off, but I'm going to cut you off. Yeah, <laughs> go for it. Good Fr segue. Fried dough. Fried dough? Fried dough. And then fried like clams or scallops fried yep. or. Uh, yep. or Fish and chips. You got to have the whole bellies. Yeah, yeah. Whole, whole bellies. bellies. No, got to have whole none bellies. Of the, none of the strips, though. No, nope, need the whole bellies. It's earthy. Yeah, it's got yep. some texture to it. Uh, see, look, Mike Ashley. It's fried clams. See, fried clams. Great fried minds, Mike. Absolutely. Leslie Briggs. Get, get a little dirt in there. Oh, love a little dirt. Every now and then, a little dirt. Yep. Yep. A little bit of dirt. Oh, that, Love yeah. the little chewy ends, <laughs> the little eracer oh, yeah. ends on the... the we go to... We spend a lot of time up near Hampton Beach. Yeah. Our whole lives. Our whole lives. And so... When you say fried dough, I instantly think of Blink's, Blink's. fried dough. Yeah, yes. sure. Instantly, right on when Hampton, you yep. said beach thing, I came and then Sal's Pizza right there. Um, yeah. Love yeah. Sal's. You have the big, massive yep. pieces of Sal's Pizza. Big old Sal's Pizza. And then I lived, when I was down in Philly, go down to the Jersey Shore, there's a place called Mac and Manco's. Yeah. And they do the fries. Totally famous. They do the big fries, and they're like um, yep. cheese sauce and... Uh, I think they put Old Bay on them and stuff. Yeah, and it's they do Old like Bay. People go down there to get mac and I mean, so it's carnival like, food. Yeah. It's kind of like carnival, right? So, like, boardwalk food, mm -hmm. fried dough, cheeseburgers, Lo pizza. Lobster rolls. Lobster rolls, fried clams. I mean, a seafood platter, yeah. there's nothing better than a fresh fried seafood platter. And Big then, thing of tartar sauce. And just oh, yeah. In California, fish tacos are, oh, fish are tacos. huge. So, if you're yeah. on the beach over there, you go with the fish tacos. So West Coast. I mean, I miss West Coast tacos. Yes. Like, we have a couple taco places around here, but... Yeah, yeah. West, like West Coast, Coast. Uh, yeah, style yeah. is so mm -hmm. much different. Just the corn tortillas, two tortillas together. Everything's fresh made. And you always you eat with your eyes, right? And so yeah. when you're oh, staring so at the Pacific yeah. Ocean and it's 80 degrees out and there's people walking around and it's a great time, I mean, the food's just going to taste better. You get better. some fresh slaw, some popping colors, a little yeah. bit of fresh, you know, cilantro yeah. or whatever, and pop that green. And, and the oh. veggies are so good over there. So on the West Coast, they're fresh all the time. So you've always got fresh avocado, fresh oh. tomato. Mm -hmm. Over here, we have like plastic vegetables. Plastic half tomatoes. The year. Yeah. Nothing like, like, those will make all the difference in the world uh, in any meal that you have. Totally. You, nothing like a fresh avocado. Quality, quality nothing like product. a fresh tomato. Quality product. It's simple. It should be simple. It's, yep. not, it's not supposed to be complicated street food. So but no, nobody's guessed yet, by the way. I mean, nobody has it right. No one's been close. 
Well, well uh, we can randomly just pick someone. We could do that too. So. Well, we could also pick somebody who maybe <laughs> ordered, but. We could also yeah. pick someone who, we could, we could go, who's the last word of the day? We can just look them up and award them. How about that, uh, that last keg yeah, of the foam that just went out? The last yep. keg of foam that went out, or last, yeah, last thing of foam that just went out. Yeah. Uh, you didn't take their name. So September 6th. September 6th is a good guess. Good guess, but no. It was not September 6th. Wow. So, Lindsay Lavallee got it spot on. August 29th, 2018. There you yep. go. There you go. Wow. <laughs> That's our winner. Who is, are you, are you, do you know Lindsay Lavallee? Yeah. She's, uh, <laughs> you think? <laughs> sister-in-law. Sister-in-law. Well, there you go. Your sister-in-law got it. There you go. Hey, we perfect. can give it to him. We can uh, take I'll it to I'll her. Just, I'll perfect. Just take it. I'll just take it home. Perfect. Congratulations She'll to Lindsay Lavallee. Yeah. yeah, thank you, Dave Meridian. And thank you, Dave yeah, thanks, Meridian. Dave. This is a great idea that he had. He's been going to like every restaurant. He yeah. buys a $25 gift card and then says, hey, would you mind matching? We can give out two gift cards to, to and just something fun, something yeah. to help promote small business, something to help promote uh, all the restaurants in town. I and think I, it's a great I believe idea. it's Grafton, killing. Upton, and Northbridge, right? Yep, that's his. So yeah, those are all his constituents. He, I know he's, you know, he's gone to. Yeah, he's been ro- town, rotating so. through. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yesterday he was at Anzio's, and today he's he's here. I know he's done Bush Hill and Pack. Yeah, already. I think we were the first. Day. Yeah, I think he was Janice Hilltop, and but. he's been all over. Yep. So he's doing a great job. Yeah. He did Hunters too, I think. Yep. Yeah, I mean, let's face it, restaurants are in a tough spot right now, so anything that anyone can do to yeah, help restaurants. Absolutely. And it's, order, you know, take out. The more local, the better. Stay local. You know, these you know, chains are obviously going to make it through, but yeah. if, you know, as long as we all stick together and support each other, so the one we'll caveat, So the one caveat I have for that, and um, some chains are franchise-owned, so those are... They're really like mom and pop. Yeah, they yeah, really are like small businesses. I yeah. mean, yes, it does take a, a lot of capital to, to get that thing going. But, but that is, pr- mo- for the majority, somebody saying, hey, I have this idea. I want to open up. Um, I, I like the concept. I know I can make money with it. I want to open up a restaurant. It's safer but it's all on to them. go with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and yeah, they have to do a lot. They don't have a lot of corporate support. Well, no. That's why McDonald's was able to get all that grant money. Exactly. Because yeah. they basically said they had all of them. a million yeah. single mm-hmm. owner restaurants. Yeah. Or Whatever, how many they have, I, I right. don't remember. So, yeah, like, I think the subway in town, like, that's what, like, it's that's still, we got to consider that a small business. No I know question. You, a lot of people. It's a family that owns it that's hurting right now. Exactly. Yeah. And subway's on the, they're on the list. They're hurting. Big they time. They might not make it. Big time. So, they were reorganizing before this. Mm-hmm. So, you know, one of the things about this, this virus is that it's kind of exposed some things that were already kind of bubbling at the top in the restaurant industry. Mm-hmm. A lot of restaurants are running on really low margin, and this was the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah. And we're not going to see, they're, they're not, we're going to lose a lot of restaurants. Unfortunately, that's, we're going to lose a lot of good I restaurants. Think, I think I mean, what we're going to David Chang closed two of his restaurants. Yeah. One of the best chefs in America. I've been to his places. He makes amazing food. He closed two of his places. Colicchio is going to close some of his places. Yeah. Bobby yeah. Flay is going to close some places. I mean, like, that's insane. These guys are, these guys are, are like Food Network rock stars. They have restaurants where you wait a, six months to get a reservation. Mm-hmm. And they're going to go out of business. Yeah, it's uh, you know I think the reality and something that you know they talk about in the MRA all the time and just kind of about how we're going to move forward with constant uh, pay increases and minimum wage going up and uh, tip minimum wage might be a thing. Right. It's restaurants are going to have to figure out a way to be profitable, and that might mean hey a burger in your mind a burger should cost ten bucks. But it but might really be should be 18, 18 yeah. bucks, or mm-hmm. maybe it should cost 20 bucks. And thing, a burger should cost $20 right away. Like, what? Why would you talking? do that? Why right. would you pay that much for a burger? But because it was $9 a pound this week. It, or that's, and that was going to be another point. You have to, yeah. all the, the food supplies all, the, all, all fucked up right now. All the other products are going up in prices. And yeah. Noma, N-O-M-A, Noma, is a burger place right now. One of the best, voted best restaurant in the world Five times out of the last that's, ten years. He's doing an outside burger. He's doing place. outside burger place. That's fifteen dollar burger. That's absolutely Noma. crazy. That's crazy. That's we had a we had a we had a chef here, Omar, worked yep. at Noma. Um, if you don't know Noma, look it up. There's a million it's specials Denmark, on it. Right? Yep, yep, exactly. Yep. Um, I mean, hands down, one of the greatest chefs, gastronomy. You know, molecular gastronomy. All the little the little pearls and smokes fermenting, and foams and fermenting. They, they are absolutely yep. insane. Great stuff. He's, He's a burgers. fucking burger bar right now. <laughs> Outdoor, fifteen dollars burgers. <laughs> and to go there and only charge that much money? Yeah, 
You Crazy. Me? <laughs> but like, so that tells you where you're at. If Noma is selling $15 burgers outside on their porch, we have a different industry. They, they're a $400 meal. You book it a year in advance. It's a 12 course, small plate. Crazy. Now they're selling burgers. So this is so like, you we're know, in a weird, new place. we're in weird times right yep. now. We're in weird, weird times, but. Yeah. I like weird times. Weird times always makes for good times or True. fun times or inter interesting times. So, um, buddy, thank you for joining. Yeah, buddy, nice. that, this was a lot of fun. Yeah. Absolutely, fun. love and having the guests. Say hi to Mike and Mike. I will. And uh, Mike, they also have. Guys. Yes. Absolutely. Yep. We're hoping Give our best. best. All right. We all love you guys. We'll, we'll be in touch, and we'll be here again tomorrow. Yep. Uh, we got another one of these I'll, again. I'll so. be here tonight, even. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. See you have a great night, everyone. Take care. Thanks, buddy. <laughs>